My name is Heather. I'm 43, mom of two beautiful children, and I'm addicted to drinking paint. Well, that's good. As it's going down your throat, it feels very nice and warm, almost like a thicker version of warm milk, but obviously it's got that very strong chemical taste to it, which is perfect to me. <laughs> I drink paint from markers because I have looked for other paints, both in quart or gallon form, and haven't found any that satisfy my desire. When you get the marker, you need to shake it up, obviously. It's like your standard paint. You can already see that there is some white paint around the edge, so I'll put that into my mouth and suck the excess off, take that off. And now you have what I drink. My mom passed away, and probably two to three months after she passed is when I changed jobs. In going through the desk, I actually came upon a paint marker, and I opened it up. The smell was very enticing. So one day, I brought the tip of the marker to my tongue. It's been every day since then. Obviously, it's not something that I can do in front of my children. I will always look for a private place. Now, this is the best part. Mm. Mm. My children have seen it on my teeth or on my mouth or smelled it on my breath, but no one, no one knows that I drink paint. Being a single mom, I'm the only one taking care of them, and um, it, it worries me, definitely. If I ever found one of my children trying the paint, I, I think I would be devastated. In fact, I know I would. That would really, <clears throat> knowing that I potentially brought that into their lives, would devastate me. I have tried to cut down, but obviously I've never been able to quit. It's it's quite difficult. Do you think coming on the show will help you stop? I hope so. I hope it helps me stop. You need any help with anything today? I actually am looking for paint markers. We do have some marking pens. Okay, could we look at those? Yes, ma'am. Could we you can. show me that? Thank you. Would you mind if we used it just so I can I can try those out? Okay. Just trying to see if this is similar to what I have used in the past. If you don't mind, I know this is gonna sound strange, but. Well, do you have a use for these other than <clears throat> the intended use? Um, truthfully, I do. Those are fairly potent chemicals. Usually something says permanent. It's pretty well permanent. I understand. 50 some years of hardware. This is one for the books. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the paint markers that I was looking for. Bye-bye.
I don't know that opening up to Mr. Johnny is going to make it any easier for me to open up to friends and family, but I know that I need to do it. I have to. Stephanie and I are best friends. Our kids play together and spend time together. Today, I'm going to admit my addiction to drinking paint to Stephanie. It's something that's uh, out of the ordinary, so I'm, I'm a little shaky right now. I just brought the kids up. Are yours here? No, CD's going to Mama's this week, so she... Catherine's taking her down there. Oh, OK. Boy, this is <clears throat> nerve-wracking. I brought you here because I want to tell you something. Okay. Because it's something that's unusual, odd, and um, so it's something that I just haven't been able to tell you. I am addicted to drinking paint. Paint? Out of paint markers, yeah. Wow. Been doing it for about two, two and a half years. Really? Mm-hmm. So how much are you drinking a day, an hour, um, a week? A marker a day, sometimes more. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you have to acquire a taste for it? As soon as I tasted it, I enjoyed it. And I began increasing the amounts. This might be too personal, I don't know, but okay. did this start with your mother? So was that time frame? I don't know. The timing is very coincidental, ironic. Right. Um, it, are they tied together? I, I don't know. We've both dealt with addictions in our family members and such. Have you thought of what this is going to do to your children? What you have done to your body? I have. And that's... Another reason, the main reason, actually, my, ki my kids are the main reason for doing this. Have you made any plans for them if something were to happen to you? That's something else I wanted to talk to you about. <clears throat> I wouldn't want them anywhere else or with anyone else. <laughs> I would want them to, to be with you guys. And you know we would love them, but I, know. I don't want you to do that to them. I don't. I don't want you to do it to yourself, and much less to them, because you've made the conscious decision to do this. I know, and I have. Those children, they, they need you. They yeah. need their mother. They deserve a life where they don't have to be affected by my stupid mistakes. There's no telling what kind of damage you've done to yourself already. I may be being harsh, but this is the reality. You've got and, to think of is. those children. And it is, and it is, and I know that, and I'm, I'm trying to fix it, so. I know you are. I'm and always here, no matter what. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, not at all. Not at all. What kind of friend would I be if I thought bad of you? I know. And please don't tell anybody. Oh, no. One. Nobody. No. I wish that Heather had told me previous to this. That way, it wouldn't have gotten to this point. But I'm here for her whenever she needs me. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. The worst thing that the doctor could say is that something is already taking place in my body, and it's irreversible. I pray, pray that that's not the case. So what brings you in to see me today? Well, um, I'm actually addicted to drinking paint. And, and about how much of this are you consuming every day? Probably a marker on average per day. OK. All right, well, come on over here and we'll Examine you a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. So there is actually a little, uh, some sores in your mouth. Were you aware of that? Mm-mm. 
Parker, I'm going to go ahead and order some stat labs on you and blood work. If Heather doesn't stop drinking the paint, she could suffer from respiratory problems, neurological problems, hearing loss, liver damage, kidney damage, and even death. So I got your lab results back, and your kidney function is a little bit abnormal. Mm. OK. Could that be because of this, or? Xylene used consistently in very, very small amounts can cause cell death of the kidney. But the most acute problem would be an aspiration event. The paint in the lungs can cause pulmonary hemorrhage and can cause death. So that alone would compel me to quit immediately. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this because I will quit. I, I, I will. I have to, no doubt. <laughs>